Citizen Leocena Price Mochez, and that's Amanda Chuanfa Athena.
But for now, my next guest is the chairman of the Senate Labor Committee. Jerry Woodlock is joining me from Rochester to weigh in on the CSEA contract ratification and the contracts that are still pending. Senator, thanks for coming on the show tonight. Thank you, Nick. Good to uh, have this opportunity to be with you and uh, your viewers. Very good. Well, first, let's just talk a little bit about your hmm. reaction to uh, the CSEA rank and file approving the contract Monday night. Yeah, you know, clearly, um, it's a step in the right direction. Uh, is, I don't know, maybe corny is old-fashioned as this sounds. Uh, I think we have to look at these budget negotiations like family, and I mean everybody. Um, the state is in a different spot than we've been in a long time. We're coming off of trying to close a $10 billion budget. Uh, gap, which we did, uh, rejecting all the taxes suggested by some of my downstate colleagues, taxes on sugar, salt, $25 for registering your bike, stock exchanges, uh, all those things. And, and now, in these challenging fiscal times, uh, the governor and many others have said, look, we've got to all work together to tighten our belts and, and get something done. Uh, really took a good place, rather than have layoffs, uh, they made some concessions, some shared sacrifices to get to where we need to be, both in terms of increased compensation and uh, picking up a little bit more of health care for themselves and their families. And I just Three, four, five, six. Uh, a lot of people are applauding it, even more than applaud. I think it was the right action for everybody at the right time. Well, you know, how can raise taxes? That would have been good for New Yorkers. And let me say this, Mr. CSEA's credit, and, and uh, Mr. Donahue, uh, he made sure that people in his union weren't going to get laid off by making these other changes. And, and I think that's taking a good...